Baby Bus! Hello, and welcome back to Baby Bus Bedtime Stories. Kids, what did you do to brighten your day? All right, let's lie down, tuck in, make yourself, ourselves comfortable, and prepare for today's story. It's another fantastic story written just for you. Good night, tummy rumbling little Dino. Rumble, gurgle. Little Dino lay on the bed, tossing and turning. His tummy just wouldn't stop making noises, and it kept him wide awake. Oh, stop rumbling, will you? It. Little Dinosaur was fed up. He patted his tummy, but it made no difference at all, and the rumbling and gurgling continued. Hmm, perhaps I should go outside for a walk. <laughs> then when I come back, my tummy will have settled down. Little Dino flipped himself off the bed, put on his little jacket, and rumbled outside with a pitter-patter. Little Dino wandered and wandered until he came upon a pond. He sat by the pond and overheard Little Frog singing. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. I love to drink hot milk, hot milk. I love to drink hot milk, hot milk. I love to drink yummy, yummy milk. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Where is that sound coming from? Little Frog looked left and looked right in confusion, trying to work out where the sound was coming from. Little Dino, feeling a little shy as he held onto his tummy. <laughs> it's me. My tummy just won't stop rumbling. Little Dino's tummy let out a gurgling sound as if to say, Hello, Little Frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Hmm, maybe... Just maybe. Your tummy hasn't been sleeping well. Little Frog fished out a large bottle of hot milk with an excited look on his face, then placed it in front of Little Dino. Ribbit, ribbit. Go ahead. Have some nice hot milk. It'll soothe your nerves and help you sleep a whole lot better. Little Dino scratched his head. Perhaps Little Frog was right. Whoosh! So he sat down right by the edge of the pond and gulped down the milk, gurgling as he drank. The milk went right down into his tummy. After finishing off the milk, little Dino started to poke his tummy. Ah, <gasps> wait, I can't hear a thing. Woohoo! Perhaps my tummy is fast asleep. Gurgle, gurgle. Oh, but before little Dino could open his mouth to speak, Gurgle, gurgle, rumble, rumble. His tummy let out a massive grunt. That milk didn't quite do the job. Little Dino got up and continued on his way. He wandered and wandered until he came upon Piggy's house. Gurgle, gurgle. <coughs> His tummy is rumbling. Piggy was eating a late night snack. She pushed the window open while stuffing some creamy pound cake into her mouth. Uh, it's me. My tummy won't stop rumbling. Hang on, I've heard this sound before. Whenever I'm hungry, which is quite often, <laughs> my tummy makes this kind of noise. Oh, I know. You're just hungry. Uh, but I've been eating a lot. I had a late night snack, and I even drank a great big bottle of hot milk. <laughs> that means you didn't quite eat enough. Piggy excitedly dragged out a pile of yummy food from her room and stacked it all up into an enormous mound right in front of little Dino. <laughs> Hurry up and eat! After you've eaten your fill, your tummy won't gurgle anymore. Little Dino thought over the idea for a while and felt that it really did make sense. Whoosh! 
So he parked himself down on the ground, picked up a huge burger with his left hand, a donut with his right hand, and ate to his heart's content. All that yummy food went straight down into his tummy. Oh, I am so full. Little Dino wiped his mouth clean. He carefully rubbed his tummy, which had now become big and round. Oh, thank goodness for that! Finally, my tummy isn't rumbling anymore! Gurgle, gurgle, oh my! The rumbling grew louder and louder and louder! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, it hurts! It hurts! Oh dear, little Dino's tummy really was in pain. Little Dino covered his tummy and rolled around on the ground in pain. Piggy called Dr. Cat immediately. The cat doctor prescribed some medicine for little Dino. After taking the medicine, the pain went away. And little Dino's tummy stopped gurgling. He lay on his hospital bed, holding on to his tummy. Doctor Cat, why was my tummy gurgling? Meow. Hmm. Little Dino, can you recall what you had as a late night snack? Um. Little Dino held up his fingers one. By one, and counted carefully. Um, one hundred cups of frozen yogurt. Uh, two hundred large orders of fries. Hmm, three hundred hamburgers. Oh, and ninety-nine pieces of chocolate. Oh, I see. I'm afraid you've eaten too much. It's too much work for your tummy to handle, so it's grumbling to protest. Uh, meow. Yet you ignored it and kept eating more. When your tummy was fed up, it grumbled and started to hurt. So that's what it was. Oh, I'm sorry, little tummy. I promise I won't overeat any more. Oh. Let's get some rest. Doctor Cat let out a deep sigh. Little Dino gently rubbed his tummy, closed his eyes, and nodded off to sleep. Good night, tummy rumbling little Dino. Good night, friends. That brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, little ones. You matter to me. Good night, and sleep tight.